Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's called An Irish American's Memories of Mayo. You see, I'm an Irish American. I was born in New York. Memories of Mayo. My country of birth has first claim to my honor, and I dwell beneath banners of red, white, and blue. Yet land of my parents and home of my childhood, my heart is forever blood bonded to you. I cherish the memory of every green hillside, and proudly and gladly your praises I've sung. The burden of years may lie heavy upon me, yet the lilt of your language still clings to my tongue. Your music and song never cease to enchant me. Your landscapes are truly the dream of a god, panoramas of rivers and lakes of bright silver blue mountains and moorlands of purple brown sod. How vivid, vivid each image recalled from my childhood. Those valleys and hillsides grow greener each day. Every memory I cherish is sweetened by distance. For the fairest of fields are those who are so in many ways, it shames me really because uh, you know we take it for granted here. You know, we, we do. We take it for granted. But um, but I th the, the other thing I think I think about that is the one thing about Ireland. That, that is the one thing that the immigrant that we all did. And I was an immigrant myself. I so was Derek for a number of years. You know the the. And I think I said about this, said this at the start, that I can appreciate people that have a tie with Ireland, a great love for Ireland, but even people that have no ties, you know, no connections uh, with Ireland, when they come here, it, it grabs them, the countryside grabs them, you know. Uh, and I think the, 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 one of the most important things is that people feel safe, and you only feel safe when you're at home, you know. Thank you.